Now I'm probably going to relocate where this connector connects to because whenever you pull down the fender this is connected to it and always stretches it. So I'm most likely going to route this or at least just relocate it to an area right here somehow attach it there so that way it doesn't have to always pull along this because eventually it's just going to stop working if I keep doing that. So here's the inside of the fender man. There's the whole set VGT turbo, stock turbo. You can see some of my Delete kit right there in blue. Definitely a cool sight. I never pulled this down when I did the deletes, believe it or not. Never had to because I never got to the exhaust really. So I'm going to unbolt this right here. You can feel the exhaust is still kind of warm. Good thing I didn't warm it up today. So I'm going to unbolt this clamp and hopefully be able to loosen this pipe off. All right, guys. So I had to hammer that, that pretty well to finally get this clamp off, man. I mean, Think about how long, it's been so many years that this truck has had this stock exhaust on. I guess it just molded together on that gasket or something. But I had to hammer it off with just a regular hammer. Finally got that clamp loose and this pipe is now loose on the exhaust. That's perfect. Now I'll be able to get that pipe down. I really thought that I wasn't able to gonna, I wasn't gonna be able to get it down. There we go, the clamp is down. Hit. And this is now just dangling there as you can see. So I'm going to pull that down. Okay, so the pipe is held on by this. Should be able to just push it off of there. Came the conclusion that this pipe is not going to come down unless I either drop the cross member, which I don't have the tools to do, or I could just cut the pipe. So I think I'm just going to cut it because if I ever have to use it again, I guess I could just clamp it wherever I cut it. I'll probably cut it right there. So that's probably where I'm going to cut it and it should come down then. So I'm going to have to do that. Well, I didn't want to have to grab the saw, but I did. We got it out guys was not a clean cut at all probably gonna have to get a new one if i ever need it again but oh well this is kind of the cheap part the filters are the expensive part so we still have one more piece underneath there that is just hanging now it's that's the part i need to get down oh man it's still on a hang I forgot to unhook a sensor there, but oh well, we'll get to that now. Guys, we got the sensor on. It's just one of those red tab sensors. But here is the pipe. The factory exhaust, the rest of it all, four inch exhaust. There. Guys, and I'm gonna be able to relocate this part right here by zip tying it back here so it stays out of the way. Of the fender. That should be good. I'm just going to cut this off with a pair of scissors. There we go. There we go. Got that out of the way. Now, whenever I put the fender back on, that's not going to matter. I'm not going to have to put that back on the fender. I think it's just a dumb design. That's the easy side. So look under here, I touched up a little bit under here. There wasn't really much to do. It's looking pretty good under here already. But basically all I did was a straight pipe delete because before it kind of was a straight pipe. It was just like a dump. But now it is really realistic. Or you could probably call it a straight pipe because I just took the muffler off. And if you if you're the modern day people just call that a straight pipe. But as you can see, it's the down pipe delete, straight pipe delete, whatever you want to call it. It is literally right there. That is the end of the exhaust off the turbo. So the turbo is probably really loud. I'm going to have to start it up to be able to move it and move it back to the spot off the driveway. So let's uh, start up and see how she sounds so once we can get that cross member down be able to install the piping it's all ready to go so there's really no other starter up here we go <laughs> oh my god 
Five nine. Turn a six seven into a five nine. 